Welcome guys to another LSPDFR live stream. Sorry about the delay. I was uh, trying to watch the final minutes of the Carolina Auburn game. Uh, Carolina with a great win. So I do apologize for starting late, but we're going to hop in it into it with some LSPDFR. Um, just going to open it up. Uh, SCPD, Slam Dunks, Chris, Jeff, Thomas, Fruit Bar. Welcome to the stream, guys. Avia, Pebble, Diggy. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Oh, Slam Dunks. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime, buddy. Much appreciate it. Slam Dunk, you've you've been a sub before, haven't you? Smash Pan or Panda. What's up, man? Mr. Potato. All right. Um, so we're playing today with the, uh, a different pack. If you saw the the video today, you would have seen it earlier. But um, I'll show you guys it when we get booted up. We're just trying to load in. Well, happy birthday, Diggy. Hope you had a good one, man. What's today? January 22nd, yeah. No, this is going to be LSPDFR. I just updated the title because it wasn't updated, so it might take a second to reflect, but we're doing LSPDFR today. I just forgot to change it before I started the, the stream. Oh, let me... Um, should we keep the should we keep the webcam down here for LSPDFR or move it back to the top right corner? Shoot, no, we're trying not to shoot someone. Keep it down. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. At least try five. Well, now you'll be able to see the speed because in the top right hand corner, I've got a little speedometer thing. Take my anger out. Well, yeah. It's a. Uh, I could see. Yeah. It's a. <laughs> cool, they never I guess everyone needs an outlet for the anger. Um. Let's start. Let's start near the airport today. I don't feel like we start a lot of patrols over here. Now I have been encountering a uh, error with Peter U callouts. I think I can still take them, but I get a little error log ever since I changed my police smart radio. I still need to do some investigating into that. Start near that uh, parking garage. Well, thank you, Jeff, for hanging out with us. It'll be a fun one. Probably stream about an hour and a half or so. All right. So in the video today, I used a Silverado. So I think we should either use the Crown Vic or the 16 FPIU. Those are our options. Tim, I'll look into that. The only problem is I've got already weapons mod in. I don't know if I'm kind of cautious about changing the weapons dot meta because I'm worried it's going to interfere with that. But I'm all for, uh, as you know me, for more realism. The full white one. I think that's a Crown Vic, right? Crown Vic looks good. Yeah, it's all white. Yep. So apparently this is based off Santa Monica. It's a new pack by Jedediah. I don't know what department Santa Monica has, but um, interesting logo there. And it's got the, uh, the LAPD style uh light bar there all 
No worries, uh, Diggy. I, I appreciate all the bitch you've, man. You've 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 gone far above and beyond, man. This month. Yeah, I can definitely add a command for that. Um, I put it in the equipment, that equipment link. If they go to that link, you should be able to see a full list. I put the nano leaf in there. So if you do exclamation mark equipment, I still, I didn't see very good reviews for the airport callouts. But we're just starting here. I doubt we'll stay around here for too long. Welcome, guys, to another LSPDFR patrol. Today, we're going to be in this uh, Crown Vic. It's part of Jedediah's new Santa Monica base pack. Take a look at the equipment real quick before we begin. Uh, I think all these vehicles have the traffic advisor. Stage 1, Stage 2, and Stage 3 lighting. You can see the all white there. We go on the interior of the car. Everything lines up really nicely. You can see Jedediah's little Easter egg. Uh, you know, the radio mounts, partition, all that good stuff, dome light, siren control, white control, that little control m module right there. But uh, we'll be taking callouts. We're starting out the airport. We'll probably be all over the map, probably. And uh, we'll see what we get into today. Oh, I'm always I'm always tweaking it okay all right so uh, we'll make ourselves 10 8 we'll do call outs if they come in if not we'll be looking for traffic stops I do try to change the starting position for my patrols but rarely do I stick around I mean I try to s stick in the general area but I feel like we just get called to so many things Any have us all over the map And Bobby hit that 24 month dude the diamond police car Bobby. Thank you for the two years of subscriptions, man I think it's a one-way, right? Yeah Two years dude, I think Bobby you got it Tony's got it Philip almost has it Ethan's got it the two-year car appreciate that Yeah, but uh, Ghost, you've been following me for over two years. Or Thomas, you've been following me over two years, so. It's all good. Attention all units. We've got Guess a we'll take that one. Control. All these taxis. Alright, dispatch link 18. Copy that. We'll be in route. It's telling us about a vehicle with a load that's not secure. Oh my god, the taxis. Citizens report a dark gray Bravado pickup truck. Uh, there's Ethan with the 100 bits. Ethan, thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. All right, we're going to go uh, this way, and we're about a mile and a half away. This is not, unless it's like. Well, I don't know. It said respond code too, so we'll just listen to dispatch. Typically, I, I feel like this is not an emergency, but depending on what is not secured, it definitely could be uh, a fairly urgent call. Man, this is this is crazy. Taxi bug, yeah. Who remembers a taxi bug from GTA 4? Well, at least he pulled over for us. All right. So it's a pickup truck. All 
And hopefully the game doesn't crash today. I, I'll, I'll go ahead and apologize in advance if it does. I've tried to do I've tried to do everything on my end that I can, but sometimes it'll just it'll just randomly crash. So we're looking for a silver pickup truck with a unsecured load. It's telling us to head this way. So we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah. Dude, there's so oh my gosh. Well G I mean GTA 5 kinda has that bug where the same type of cars will spawn in. Uh did he continue on or did he get off? Decisions, decisions. Seen in the area. You have not spotted this vehicle. Keep your eyes peeled for a silver pickup truck. We could be ahead of him a little bit. Let's wait for a waypoint updater. I haven't seen anything yet. There's a silver pickup truck, but it doesn't look like he's hauling anything illegal. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna take precedent at the moment. Got a vehicle that just spun out and crashed here. Let's get him off the road. Come on, pull off. That vehicle was smoking. All right, dispatch, we're gonna disengage from that traffic stop call. We're gonna be out with a vehicle that was just involved in an accident. Can I get a 1028? Plate number is going to be 83 X ray X ray boy 692. Target vehicle license plate 83 X ray boy 692. No 1099. All right. Um, I'm going to make sure they're okay. That's my number one concern. They crashed pretty hard there. Hey. Hey. What's going on, buddy? I I saw you just smash into that wall. Are you okay? Just had it home. My house is right up the street. Can I just leave? Sir, I mean, you're involved in a pretty serious accident. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and call medics here to uh, go ahead and check you out. Can you go ahead and uh, just step out of the car for me? We're going to try to do this safely here without getting injured. Just step out of the car for me. Wait up! You sure? Check again. All right, just follow me over here. Let's get off the road. Yep. Yep. Just chill with me right here. I'm gonna call a medic. Assistance required on Del Perro Freeway. Do you have a license on you? Weasel Plaza, Little Soul. Oh my gosh. Thanks. Oh, they're gonna. All right, I'm okay. All right, guess the medics cleared you. Get up. Appreciate it. Runs information. All right, man. Well, obviously this car is not in drivable condition, so I can't let you drive it. Uh, I'm not even gonna cite you. Like I said, I was just worried. And I don't. It doesn't seem like you're any influence of anything either. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you a taxi or Uber. Come pick you up, okay? Backup requested. 
acquired on Del Perro Freeway, south of um, Weasel Plaza. And All right, you want an Uber? Soul. All right. Ah. Any available central unit, citizens report a serious MVA on Palomino Avenue, north of a uh, Little Soul Bean machine and, how and Little Soul. I'm monitoring, we can assist if required. <laughs> <sighs> this is a death trap. I'm just gonna get this thing towed. The occupants ran. Assistance required on Del Perro Let me Freeway move so the tow truck of, doesn't um, ram me off the road Lethal today. Plaza, Again. Soul. Yeah, we're gonna have to get this thing repaired. All right, tow truck's gonna pick that up. We're code four off of there. We're gonna, let's see, do we have a, yeah, we'll swing by this. Can I get off here? Yep. All set. Swing by the Let's station go. here and get this car repaired real quick. Turn left. Jeez. The interstates in this game, I, they Continue remind me straight. of um, that scene in the Matrix where who somebody tells somebody to stay off the highway or the interstate. That's what I feel about GTA 5 trying to do a traffic stop. Am I able to replenish health? I could. Uh, we could call for EMS, but I don't know that they'll heal me unless it's under a certain percentage. Forget how that exactly functions, but we could uh, we could heal it. We could heal at the station. I think actually, if we search the trunk of the vehicle, turn right. We might be able to to uh, heal ourselves up. I don't remember. You have reached your destination. So if you haven't heard the news, LSPDFR 0.4 is going to be coming out next month. Be released next month. We don't have an exact date in February, but it's got a lot of changes. I've done like a whole series on the changes coming to the game. So I think it's going to be a, a good update. We'll see the impact on the, the plugins and everything. Let's see. Does this work? Yep, there we go. Med, kit, and vest equipped. There we go. We're all healed up. Perfect. All right, let's, um... We have property damage on Grove Street, west of Carson Self Storage and Store Strawberry. Store the shotgun. David. There we go. Units respond code so really, just on my person, I've got the pistol and the stun gun, aka the taser, and my hands. And a flashlight. All my other weapons are stored in the vehicle. Rifle in the vehicle, as well as a shotgun. You can see them right there in the middle console. It's in a rack. Yeah, it's been a while. When was our last update, like... Two and a half years ago, when 0 0.3 came out. All right, dispatch lane 18 will be back available for calls. I hear a car alarm going off. Sounds like it's coming to my right. All right. Dispatch, we're gonna investigate a car alarm in there. Is it this thing? So he's got some damage on it. Uh, nine, nine, uh... Yep, looks like somebody sideswiped this car. Nothing we can really do about it. However, it happened right in front of the police station. 
probably somebody who works here. Their vehicle. I mean, that damage is drivable. Surely you've seen like cars driving around with big old dents on them. Just because it's been sideswiped doesn't necessarily make it undrivable. But if they have broken glass, that's like a big, that's a big no, no. You shouldn't be driving a car with broken glass. Yeah, who tried to route? Yep. Yeah, I remember they were, uh, they're pretty outgunned in that scenario. Attention all units. Uh, we have a 911 call on a suspicious party, uh, walking around an apartment building on Douglas Street. Uh, just trying to open all the doors. Attention That's okay. We have security details requiring assistance. Okay, looks like we're headed back towards the airport. Parkway. Look at our call information real quick and we'll head over there. We've got security guard at Bill Gecko Warehouse, Green Greenwich Parkway, requests assistance removing an intruder from private property. Add code two. Respond code two. Copy that dispatch. You're responding code two. About a mile away. what exactly is going on when we get on scene and we'll take it from there I love when AI pull over Dispatch link in 18, we're meet 1023 on scene. Attention all units, officers are at the scene. Snack time. You always make me hungry. All right, what we got going on? I'm so mad with this person right now. Okay. They're out of a job here today, tough luck. They're making a scene and stopping anyone from getting anything done. We want them off the premises so that things can return to normal. Okay, sounds like this person might have been left go let go and they don't want to leave the property. All right, what's going on, man? Officer good. I wanted to speak to you. Do you know how much the CEO gets paid? And now they're saying they have to lay me off me me I'm a junior employee and cost them next to nothing. You can see the injustice here, right? So I'm not moving until I get some press coverage All right problem is um, You've been let go. I don't I don't really care about the background of why I'm not here for that But you looks like you're on their property now if you want to get press coverage outside their property, that's your prerogative. Okay, Mr. Walker, just hang tight there for me. Let's go ahead and look him up. Just make sure he doesn't have any warrants. Probably just ask him to leave, and if he doesn't leave, then arrest him. It's a tough situation. I understand, like... What was his name? Jake Walker. What an easy name.
Okay, he's valid. He's not won it. Looks like he has pretty clean history. All right, Jake, here's your information back. So we have two choices here. You can either uh, continue to stay here on the property and get arrested, or I'm going to ask you once to leave. And if you leave, you can do your business elsewhere. Okay. So are you going to leave? I don't see why I should go anywhere. All right. Well, you, you made it pretty easy for me. So wow. Hold up. Go ahead, turn around for me. You Put ain't your hands behind your back. Prison. All right, you have anything illegal on you? Anything that's gonna stick or poke me? Maybe, yeah, uh, I hate that answer. Okay, well, we're gonna pat him down. <laughs> That's true SWAT. Yep, he'll be a trespass today. So it sounds like if he comes back on the property, but uh, we'll probably just take him down the station and get that trespass in. Okay, um, let's go ahead and write the trespass notice. For Mr. Walker. Let's see, public trespassing. So we're gonna count this as his trespass notice. And we'll just take him to the jail and he can uh, be released from the jail. That way he'll be off this property too. Vice people new to LSPDFR? I would say make backups. Whatever you plan to change, make a clean backup. So if you mess something up, you got those files ready to, uh, to go. Because it's very easy to corrupt your game. So back, always tell people make backups. Okay, we'll get police transport. Greenwich Parkway, east of uh, LSX Custom Auto and Los Santos International Airport. It is, I believe it's based off Santa Monica Police, yes. Hello. Got one for you. Whoa. Take it easy there. He just flew out of there. Thanks so much. All right, we'll tell the guard here what happened and uh, we'll get out of here. Thank you. Alaska, what's up, man? Good to see you. All right, sir, he's been arrested. We're uh, gonna write him a trespass notice if he's back on this property again. Please call 911 and uh, we'll arrest him again, all right? Yep, you have a good one. Nice. All right, dispatch room, code four off that call. And back to eight. Yeah, there... Other than writing a citation for trespass, I don't think there's a mod that lets you do anything beyond that with trespassing. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't use profanity, but I can't control the AI, unfortunately. They'll say whatever they want. I wouldn't say, I mean, I wouldn't say kid friendly. I just don't use profanity, but sometimes, I mean, you're going to get violence in this game. You got police shootouts. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty PG person in real life and that's how I am on my channel. No big surprise. Okay. And we'll take a left out of here and head out of the airport area. See if we get another call coming. So we'll try not to take duplicate calls. If we've already taken a call earlier in the stream, I won't take another one of the same type. Any unit in the oh, port of area. Citizens reporting a carjacking on Calais Avenue and Elysian Island. One, Lincoln, 18, respond code three. Dispatch, copy that. You're responding code three to the scene. Got a car jacking. I think it was a Tornado 3 was the model of the car. Said uniquely colored. Also believe we have a plate number. I just try to remember the last four, typically uh, Ocean 951. All right. Pickle and potato chips. The classic. You had something else last night. Would you have a chocolate bar or something? You had something sweet. Yeah, Mel Melvin, um, he's a moderator on this channel. You'll see him occasionally in the streams. He he would always do that too. He would describe in detail every time I was streaming all this great food he was eating. I mean, and Mel Melvin ate good. He was eating barbecue sandwiches, like hamburgers, classic American food. He always seemed to have some type of meal set up. Okay, this was the area. Here's gonna be the vehicle. I'm pretty sure they just hit a pedestrian too. They're still in the, uh... oh my gosh. Right, so a dispatcher gonna be westbound Dutch London Street. We spot the vehicle, we're gonna be in pursuit. Speed's about 80 miles per hour. Not sure how many vehicle occupants are in here. If the pursuit goes on long enough, we'll request a spike strip. Yep, it's six. Yep, that matches our plate. Looks like it's occupied one time. Looks like it's caught behind a flatbed. We're gonna be going about 20 miles per hour now. Still on Dutch one in street. Crossing the area of Davis Avenue. So this was a carjacker. Not sure if a weapon was involved. But we probably should assume that there likely could be one. He just crashed. Car's on fire. Freeze! LSPD freeze. LSPD freeze. I'm gonna pull out a taser. See if I can hit him with a taser. This might have to be on the run. Stop! On the Please. ground. Hit his hand. Oh, he just dropped a weapon. He was armed. OK, 
Can we get some backup on scene? Please. You're under arrest, you piece of crap! Yeah, that car, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. I don't think it exploded, but... Alright, man, do you have anything illegal on you? Dispatch to all South Los Angeles units. We have a holdup on Carson Avenue, north of Carson Self Storage in hey. Strawberry. Okay. And David. Let me go ahead and search you. Dispatch to other 12 inbound code 3. I'll take the area. I mean, a tase in the hand, that shit still affects you. It's part of your body, right? He's got a handgun, so he had weapons, grenade on him, all types of items. Hey, if you just go ahead and watch him here, I'm going to run back to the scene, make sure the car's okay and traffic's okay, and then I'll come back, probably pull my car around. So it appears the vehicle did not catch fire. It is smoking though. Probably will still call out the fire department here. Let's use the police car to block traffic. Let's see, I, I don't think the fire department will actually do anything since the fire's out, but we can definitely try it. Backup required on Dutch London Street. And what call? I'm not sure. Florida. It might be a sort of call out pack. Let me see. It's agency call outs. By Darkmire. Uh, what the fuck? Can you guys just check it out? Make, okay, it's, it's clear. Okay, well, that was fast. Thank you. And just a crowbar in here, so this thing's gonna be towed off on a flatbed. Assistance required on this was the car that was carjacked, matched the description Florida. perfectly. So we're gonna head back over to our suspect there and start writing up some charges. Ethan with 100 bits again. Ethan, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I mean, yeah, pepper spray in the foot, yeah, not going to be effective. But I feel like even if you're tased in your hand, that would still affect most people. Some people are just not very, um, you know, some people can fight through the taser hit. So, I mean, maybe he was one of these people. All right, man. So we've confirmed the vehicle you stole was stolen. It was reported carjacked. Also, um, you've got weapons in your possession, evading, resisting arrest. Those are going to be your charges today, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and place you in... Uh, I can't really place them in there. Now the part, I need to change it so only certain vehicles will come respond. How you doing? Because that's not exactly... Watch okay. Out! Well, just watch them really is not safe. I think ultimate. Yeah, I think you're right. I believe you're right there, Tim. Leroy he's actually has a pretty clean record. He's going to be facing multiple felonies today. Carjacking even on here? There we go. Carjacking, felony. Um, we're going to have resisting arrest. While well, evading police, he actually hit somebody too. And he had weapons. I 
I mean, it's not... I could see your case there with the crowbar. And maybe use the crowbar to actually carjack. I don't know. That seems that seems kind of iffy charge. But, you know, I'm not a cop, so... Yeah, was he, he did hit somebody with the car when we first started the pursuit. So that would be. Vehicular assault. Yeah, we got the car jacking. I think it's the I didn't really see him brandish a weapon. He he did drop his weapons when um we approached him. Yeah, he did not die, that's correct. But I mean assault doesn't have to end in a death, correct? Okay. Um Well, I guess he's just gonna take him. Probably the easiest thing to do. Assistance needed on How you doing? La Porta Freeway and La Porta. Taser isn't always effective. Nice. It depends on the person's size and if they're high on drugs. Yeah, that's that's very true. That's nice. Of you. Next effective tool with the first isn't. I know the basic stuff. Trained. I mean, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, I mean, I feel like those are fair charges for what he did. I mean, it's always possible I miss them. That's why I like, uh, that's, that's why, I, that's what makes live streams even more fun. Cause I can see the live feedback from you guys and we can talk about it. Cause I'll tell you, I am not, I am nowhere clear. I'm nowhere close to being a hundred percent right. I'm probably like 50, 50, right. With the charges and half the time I forget to charge him with stuff as Tim will tell you so also clothing affects the ta taser effectiveness it's on this yep you're right yeah he's wearing that heavy coat and the prongs couldn't really pierce the the coat you are correct okay the special unit 18 will be back tonight as a dirty copper yeah, and that was speed if I try not to be, but sometimes it, it happens with game mechanics and things that we can't necessarily control. But we try to do our best. No taser in New Jersey because they just became illegal for. Oh, that's interesting. I, I wasn't even aware that was policy. I saw an interesting article. I think it was a police one Twitter account a couple days ago. It was a court case whether um, I think it might have gone to Supreme Court. I'm not sure. But the case was about whether um, police had the right to tase someone multiple times to get them to stop resisting. And the case was an uh, interesting case because the individual family or his estate was suing the officer because ultimately the tasers led to a heart attack killed him but he was tased a lot he was tased i think two times with the prongs and then multiple times with like the skin taser that you just hold up to somebody but uh the ruling was ultimately that the police are in the right to tase someone multiple times which I didn't even know was an issue, but I thought it was an interesting article. The fake cop, Patty Mayo. I'm not really too familiar with his channel. I thought he was a, he did bounty hunter or something. Tap taze, is that what it's called? Well, okay. Yep, you're getting pulled over. I don't know in what mind are you gonna 
drive around a police officer and hit a road sign. This bus is about to smack me. Dispatch lean 18. Be pulled over with a red convertible off the Spucci Boulevard. We're gonna need a 1028. Plate number is gonna be 47 Charles Adam Ida 544. Four. Target license plate. Four seven Charles Adam Ida five four. In San four, Francisco, four, tasers four. weren't instituted for police until recently. That's it. I had no idea. I didn't know that in certain uh, departments they didn't even allow for tasers. In Australia, tasers are very effective. Guns are never used considering guns are extremely hard to get in Australia. Australia is definitely an interesting place. Like, just because it's a big island and it seems like a lot... Australia has really strict importation laws about what can come into the country. Hey. Um, okay, so we're getting a vehicle order of narcotics. Okay, so we can request a canine to come and do the search. Typically, I like to take him out of the car before that, but I think taking him out of the car, in effect, is not going to let us do that. So I think he's going to have to stay in the car. We'll give him a chance to to put, to tell us if there's anything in there, and we'll ask him if we can search the car. But if he doesn't, we're going to have to take that route. How are you doing today, sir? I'm pretty sure you understood why I pulled you over. Well, okay, I pulled you over because you just went around me at the stop sign and hit hit the uh, the road sign right next to me. Yeah, sorry if I knew you were th I was right in front of you. Okay. Sir, I'm noticing a little bit of impairment on your part. Do you have anything illegal in the vehicle? You got slurred speech, your eyes are red. See you wearing some sunglasses, no? Okay. Do I have permission to search your vehicle? Sure, okay. Well, you gave us permission, there we go. So we'll just ask him to uh, step out of the car for us. Stand over there for me. Hey, sir, I didn't say you could leave. Piece of garbage! And he's running. Dispatch, we're gonna be in a foot pursuit with one suspect, a white male. That's, oh my gosh, this this man can run fast. Freeze, police! Be running southbound Alta Street. I'm gonna try to. I'm too far to to have LSPD fire initiated pursuit. <laughs> you got the jump on me, but I think it dead ends up here, doesn't it? Never mind. Oh, it's trying to grab a pad. It's because I'm holding shift T. Yeah, that ain't working. Um, so the problem is the computer doesn't see it as a pursuit, even though he did flee the scene. So what I need to do is I'm losing health here. I'm going to run out of stamina and kill myself. LSPD freeze. Yeah, I tried to do that. It's not working. I never can get it to work. Also, it doesn't help that I don't have my reticle on. Taser missed. I can't chase him anymore. I'm gonna run out of health. Backup needed. Uh, There's a cop right there. East of, uh, the Pillbox Hill construction site in Pillbox Hill. Like I'm aiming and hitting T now, but I have no idea where my reticle is. It's hard to, to aim at someone and press T and his car's gone. Great. So I lost him. Let me see if I can 
get in the car there and just see if he's still running. I think he went up the, uh, this him. Probably despawned by now. I can never do that effectively. Let's let's test that. All right, because I've never been able to do that. Has to be a running suspect. Some people have all the money in the houses. <laughs> the Look, okay, there, there there it went. Damn, so that get works. This scumbag. I guess I was just not close enough. And I don't think, I don't know that they have to be running. Can I call this pursuit off? Just kidding guys. Well, at least we know it works. We had to test it and make sure it was working. We'll, we'll make sure she's released. Training exercise. All right, thank you for uh, being a participant in that training exercise. Free to go. All right, off you go. Okay, I, I do need to get this car repaired. I noticed one of my headlights isn't strobing, presumably due to some damage. Still not happy that guy got away. Excuse me. Whew. Uh, can you check the glove? I think I left my notebook there. All right, dispatch. We're gonna head back to the station real Let's quick. Let's get started. Drive safe. To repair a vehicle, and Turn then we'll right. be back tonight. See my bridge. In point one miles. Turn right. Whew. In point one miles. I'm not one of those people that left. can hold in my sneezes. My wife and my mom, they can do that. They do like a weird noise when they're holding it in, but I cannot do that. Continue straight. If I have to sneeze, I have to sneeze. It's coming out. Turn right. All right. Let's just park in a parking spot there and get this damage repaired. Uh, we'll also get a med kit, heal up. There's the FPI. You have reached your destination. Members on a 1050 call. I'm on landline with the victim now. Will advise. Give yourself a headache. Oh, that sucks. Sneezing is so satisfying to me. It's like that build up and then you go. That's relief. This needs to be dropped off in here. It's not going to a police station holding a gun. Never a good idea. I got a weapon. I collect it. All right. Appreciate it. I'll try it. I just have to be super on point with the aim, especially if they're running. Also, I don't I don't think I was double tapping either, so that could have been a, a problem. Which one was my car? I think it was this one. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, I mean, I bet it can hurt if you're sneezing a lot. That would probably hurt. All right, dispatch, we're back to Nate. Yeah, he was. I could not keep up with him. I was going to literally run out of health trying to keep up with him stamina wise. That's the one thing I don't like about AI in general. They seem to just have unlimited stamina. They can run forever if you're chasing them. It's not exactly realistic. Yeah, freezer, that'd be awesome. What type of truck is it? 
I'm glad you're uh, feeling better. Oh, he definitely he might have been a marathon runner for all we know. He was booking it. Attention all units. Citizens report. Suspicious oh. activity. Check on this one out. Strawberry Avenue. West of Mission Row Police Paranoid, Department. what's up, man? And Mission Row. Black male muscular wearing a dark shirt and blue jeans. Copy that dispatch. Let's try to locate. Kenworth? Okay, yeah. Kenworth is a good brand from what I hear, but I don't really know trucks. There's a guy. I've seen him on Twitch before. He streams while he's driving his truck. Camera's on him, though, and he has, for the chat, he has some program that will read it to him, so he, obviously you can keep his eyes on the road. But that was interesting. Oh, there's a car on the sidewalk here. What is going on? Dispatch Lincoln 18, we're going to 1023 on scene. Oh, okay, I have a feeling this person's involved somehow and they're fleeing the scene. So let's go ahead. Dispatch Lincoln 18, we just had a car flee the scene. Presumably involved in some legal activity around an ATM. We're going to be northbound Strawberry Avenue. Speeds approximately 80 miles per hour. Traffic conditions are light. Call was for suspicious activity near an ATM. Stand by for plate. Plate is going to be zero zero Frank Edward Henry six five seven. Suspect license plate. Zero, zero, Frank, Edward, Henry, no registration six, expired five, insurance. Seven, in it's going to be a female driver occupied one time. Let's see if this will break the game or not. Oh. Call it for a state unit to assist. Stop the Virginia State Patrol units from last week's stream. So going to be northbound Interstate 1, about uh, 70 miles per hour. Traffic conditions are still light. Do we have any uh, spike strips in the area? Backup needed. Target vehicle license plate zero zero Frank Edward Henry six five seven. Oh my gosh! Legit. Spike strips it. That was so legit. Is that possible that we can make that spawn a little further out? He literally flew in from the sky. All right, he hit the spike strip. She hit the spike strip, excuse me. Running on bare tires. Still headed northbound. We have permission to pit. They're swerving all over the road. Don't run into me. Christ's sake. Police on the ground. I'll get the non-lethal. Dispatch one in custody. Heck of a pursuit there. Let me put up some uh, barriers. Somebody fighting? We all good here, gentlemen. All right, do you have anything on you, lady? Go ahead, pat her down. I think this is a car. Large amount of cash. Well, sounds right since she was um, suspected of doing something near an ATM. Thanks. 
All right, let's place you in my car for now. So guys, what should we charge her with? Out of the car. Police! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! What did I tell you? I hate the interstates. What's your problem? You ain't never getting out of prison! <sighs> Just arresting everybody. Evading reckless. Whenever you're ready. Okay. All right, Thomas. Yeah, get some rest. We'll catch you. Uh, we'll catch you later. Whatever, asshole. I'm trying to get off the road. Damn it! He came from driving the opposite lane of traffic. Phony evasion, theft, reckless driving, possession of stolen goods. Whew. Jackson hitting her with everything. Let's see what we got in here. Small pouch of marijuana, painkillers. Yeah, my car is wrecked. Sonora Freeway, east of, um, Bolingbroke Penitentiary, and Grande Sonora Desert. Can you get charged with theft and possession of stolen goods? Okay, what's the, um... I'm just gonna have somebody come pick him up. I don't want to deal with him. Assistance needed on Sonora Freeway, east of uh, Bolingbroke Penitentiary, and Grande Sonora Desert. I was gonna. S oh no! First crash. We got, we got it, uh, we got about an hour in. Let me see here. I'm curious. I want to look it up. I think possession of stolen goods is when they're found with them, but that's what, that's what I, that's what I was thinking, Ethan. P charged with theft and we'll try to google this i don't know if we're gonna get good results all right here's a wikipedia page possession of stolen goods crime which individuals bought been given or acquired stolen goods Many jurisdictions, like, I mean, it is going to depend on jurisdiction and country. If an individual has accepted possession of goods or property and knew they were stolen, then the individual is typically charged with a misdemeanor or felony, depending on the value. The individual did not know the goods were stolen, the goods are returned to the owner. The individual is not prosecuted. However, there are often exceptions due to the difficulty of proving and disproving individual's knowledge that the goods were stolen. United States, where are we? United States rec receipt of stolen property is a federal crime. Person can be found guilty of that offense only if all of the following facts are proven. The person received or concealed or stored or disposed of items of stolen property. The items were moving as or constituted part of interstate commerce. The items had a value in excess of $5,000. The person acted knowingly and willingly. Government must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that a person either received, concealed, stored, sold, or disposed. 
Guilty of the offense, a person must know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also regarding re receipt of stolen property, there are no minimum dollar in many jurisdictions. So that is the federal law, I believe, this right here. Interesting. Statements proved, received or possessed for dishonest purpose. Well, we'll try to get back in the game, do another call or two. Then call it a night. Do an Australia episode. <laughs> All right. I mean, honestly, I prefer to do American stuff because I just, at least I'm s somewhat familiar with U.S. laws. But for other countries, I have no idea. That's kind of the problem. And also, it would require a lot of, like, tinkering around just to get it, you know, to get it to look right with the right cars and everything. <laughs> Australian accent. Australians have a lot of interesting slang words. I was watching some Australian TV show and it's like amazing the the slang there. No, I can't. I can't speak in an Australian accent. Hey mates. Hey. Um, it was, I think it was on Netflix. It was like a reality TV show. I think it was called instant hotel or something, which would be like equivalent to, uh, an Airbnb in the U S like a rental home. These coins ain't never bit nobody. Hey, what's up, Johnny? You can, um, Johnny, I got a couple videos you can check out on the channel that go through me setting it up. Of course, they're like, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube. YouTube's a great resource. But to get it exactly how I got it, honestly, I'm not sure. But another good resource is the uh, LSPDFR Google Doc, which shows all the mod, a list of mods. Highway, I'll have to check out Highway Patrol. If it's available on Netflix, I can get it. Call me at the place. RBT. Um. episodes on YouTube, oh, then I can definitely watch it. Random breath test. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So it's a TV show. Do an Arundel County Police? Where is where even is that? Never heard of that place. Assistance required. An assault on Milton Road, north of uh the little teapot in West Vinewood. Maryland. In Arundel County. Yep, it's in Maryland. 500,000 population. The U.S. is so big. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm open to do different police departments for sure. Yeah, I don't think I've done any Chicago stuff. 
Doesn't Chicago's police cars look a little different? Chicago. What's the police? Is it just Chicago Police Department? Or are they called something else? Yo. Hey, beautiful. Yeah, just fast. How you doing? Uh, found a guy in the middle of the yeah, we have like. We have. I thought it was like 330 million or something population. It's ridiculous. Still behind China and uh, India, though. Chicago Authority Police Department. Okay. I'll try to remember that. All right. So, yeah, let's do another call out or two, and then uh, we'll call it a live stream. Yeah, and if you miss the reason behind I do war friendly, this happened back with um, LSTPDFR, and I've happened. I think it actually has happened to people with some LSPDFR, but departments have like some departments are very they they do not want you to use their exact vehicles with their decals and tax and everything in a game. Like I guess they think it represents them poorly. Cause somebody might type that in and see you like shooting and killing innocent people or something and with that type with their police car that makes sense that's the only reason i could think that they might not want people playing as their police department like there could be confusion or bad reputation or something i mean personally i think it's just a video game but I guess not everyone on YouTube sees it like that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I think I did a video of that. If you haven't seen that, that is the amount of inaccuracies in that uh, report, man. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, or maybe they don't want their police department just associated with a video game where you can kill people. I don't know. But I, I feel like there's so much more than, to Grand Theft Auto than just, you know, shooting people. That's the beauty of it. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely an illegal U-turn. Pursuit. All right, dispatch looking 18. We're going to be pursued with the black sedan. We had at westbound West Eclipse Boulevard. Attempted to stop them for legal U-turn. Oh, they're they're running. Can I get some units on scene, please. Assistance required on West Eclipse Ma'am, can I see your hands? North LSPD, don't make me shoot you. Station and Pacific Bluff. Assistant Let me see your hands. LSPD. Stop! Police! On the ground. Delta 21. 10 23. I'm right here. Just pulling up. On your six. I want to be still paying off my student loans when I'm like 90. You ain't never getting out of prison. Yeah. See you later if I'm not dead. We got him. We got him. All right, ma'am. 
Come walk with me. We're gonna walk back towards the car. I'm gonna see if she knows anything. She could be an innocent party into this since she was not actually driving. For all we know, she could have been telling the driver, hey, let me out of the car. So we'll see what we can ask her and um, see if she maybe consents to a search. Make sure she's clean. Make sure she doesn't have any arrest warrants. And then if that all comes back, we can probably end up releasing her. All right, ma'am. What was happening what there? Were you trying to flee? You choose not to answer? Okay, do you have anything illegal on you? What's going on? Hey man, car's in double tapping to you. I'm a good citizen. Okay. Well, I'm gonna search you. Uh, if, if your ID is clean and you don't have anything on you, I'm gonna let you go, okay? Since you were not driving. I mean, we could, if you want, we could watch that little, um, that, that video on LSPDFR and then call it a night after this. Okay. She, she doesn't have anything on her. Looks like her record's clean as well. Yep. So I'm just going to release her. Actually, let me search the car first before I do that. Let me just make sure there's nothing in the car. I I even missed it. What what happened? I closed my eyes for two seconds. What did the cop do? Is that when he knocked me over? Okay, nothing in the car. So we're gonna release her. This thing's going to just be impounded. Driver will be charged. Yeah, it come, came back clean. Lucky for her. Got fell in back. Oh, I'm, I, missed, I even missed it. I'm playing the dang game. All right, ma'am. You're uh, going to be free to go. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, where's hey, the driver happening? at? The driver's down there. What I'm gonna do is actually drive down there. Guys, we can't just arrest somebody and leave them here. How you doing today, sir? Uh, your arrest, well, you'll see I just towed your car, but you're gonna be arrested for evading that traffic stop. Any particular reason you did that? I'm relaxing my soul. Okay. My partner here is gonna pat you down. Oh, we got a baggie of meth. Yep, you're going to be charged with that, sir, as well. Gigs in this town, man. Yeah, All right. Well, too, buddy. Later. we'll get some ID off him, too. Make sure he doesn't have any warrants to John Brinko. Well, she was not driving. She's, he's got a warrant, too. Yeah, if you're kidding... <laughs> <laughs> it was probably saying like if you're gonna commit a crime don't cr commit multiple ones at the same time Seems like it'd be common sense Okay, we're gonna put this uh, this guy in since he's been searched we'll go ahead and write up the charges Hey, what's happening? 
right, uh, if you want to comment what you would charge him with, let me know. How's it going? Hey, what's happening? You guys are free to go. No, 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 no. Don't. No. Get back in the car, buddy. Just trying to dismiss back up here since I've got it pretty much taken care of at this point. What's going on? How's it going? Hey, what's happening? Appreciate it. It is a uh, police smart radio update. I think those two are partners. Yes. No, this this is a this is called motivated radio. I think if you're talking about that, you can't really see it because my face is on top of it. But um, he's got an arrest warrant for aggravated battery. Okay, so he'll be charged with the battery. It's actually in a warrant. So he's got the warrant. He has a possession of the drugs. Okay. He tried to evade. Probably hit him with the resisting and evading. Reckless, yeah. I would say reckless because he ran into somebody. That'd be traffic. Maybe just the evading. Okay. He was not in a stolen car. But I'm not sure if that was registered to him, but it wasn't reported stolen. Oh, the little con then yes, Tim Tim's absolutely right. It's X scanner. If you want to hear the background conversations. Um, okay, so we'll do, we'll do resisting too. So three felonies, two misdemeanors. Oh, did he I don't think he had a valid license either. Expired license. That would just be a uh, citation, I believe. Expired license, where you at? Expired driver's license. Okay, I'll have somebody come uh, pick him up here. Required near West Eclipse Boulevard, north of uh, oh, damage Pacific of Bluff state property in Pacific Bluff. Asshole. Yeah, I can do that, Tim. I didn't realize it was repeating. All right, he's gonna be transported away. So we'll stop the uh, patrol right here. We'll end it off on that. And um, what I'm gonna do, if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna edit that real quick so I don't forget to do it later. And also, we we can watch that little uh, little hit piss hit, <laughs> hit piece on LSPDFR that was in the Australian media probably like a year and a half ago. Let's see, um, so that would be under charge definitions, SPDFR. Computer plus, charge definitions. Okay, remove the first degree arson charge. 
<coughs> Price first degree arson with second degree murder. Under warrants. So what's the repeating one? Um, remove the first degree arson charge from the warrants. Is it just backwards? There it is. Replace that with second degree murder. All right, there we go. Okay, uh, let me find that video real quick, and then I'll be right back, and we'll watch it. I think it's like five-minute video, something like that. It's not that long. See if I can find a link. It was. Yeah, uh, only mods and VIP are allowed to actually post links. I'm trying to find the original news. I don't know if it's actually on YouTube or not. In the center, I was used. This might be part of it. All right. Speed this morning, the anger over a black market version of the popular video game. <laughs> black market version. Grand Theft Auto. Seven users revealed hackers have created a variation which lets gamers a hackers attack New South Wales police. Attack police. Officers are planning action against the designers. Let's bring in commentator proof. Oh yeah, you gotta have self-control. McSween, Seven News presenter Ryan Phelan and etiquette expert Anna Musson. Given this is a black market version of the game, uh, are the police- Black market, what is this black market version? It's gonna really achieve anything or They've really got to make a statement, don't they? They really do, Koshi. I mean, this is so dangerous. It all points back to this regulation that's required for yeah. online. But, I mean, how do they police that? Yeah. Uh also, Australia seems really strict in some senses, especially with laws. Uh, the messages that's, that you it's giving Sunrise. out to these people, you know, I don't think you've got much of a brain if you, do a, if you are a gamer fanatic. So it would be, they have form. Wait, what much of a brain? If you're a gamer it's giving out to these people you know i don't think you've got much of a brain if you do a if you are a gamer fanatic so it would be they have <laughs> it's called gamer I know stupid. That some previous policeman was attacked after a gamer so yeah a gamer had been playing uh, mm. with a game so i mean it's got gamer. it's got to be stopped but i don't know how you police it yeah. all you can do is try and pursue these people i think we better get used to it it's a glimpse of the future um we've seen it in movies like westworld and total recall in recent years where people want to vicariously commit crime uh through the virtual world and i think that's only going to get and gta 5 is a game all about committing crime in the first place worse and worse whether it be through gaming or mm. or technology that we 
aren't, aren't even privy to yet. I think we can fight it as much as we like, but, but unfortunately it's the future. Mm. And you can make the argument that going to see this the in the movies, we're seeing police behaving badly and doing this kind of thing, but this is so interactive and so realistic. We'd love to be able to say, look, everybody is able to be their own judge, but unfortunately, particularly younger children getting access to this, mm. it's a blight. Yeah. And there's not much respect it's for police blight. anymore. It's a blight. When, when we were growing up, we That's were scared of the police. Through. You know, and, and this is reinforcing it. And sadly, you know, we've got to do something drastically. Mm, great. Totally agree. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's just too funny. Well, that's going to end it for um, me today. We'll be back live streaming on Thursday at 4 Eastern. We'll be doing some uh, 5M role play. Thank you guys for joining, Ethan. Thank you for the bits. Bobby with the 24-month resub. And Slam Dunk also with the Twitch prime it's been fun uh this you'll probably see some highlights of the stream up on the youtube channel in the following days all right guys thanks for joining and i'll catch you on the next stream